Hello, it's me again, Caroline. So today I just thought I'd carry on my talk about bipolar that I started yesterday on the video. And um, it was about acceptance, wasn't it? And and I was just thinking about that just now, really. It, it, it's more than just accepting that you've had the time that you were bipolar, uh, whatever that means, because that's another thing I didn't really discuss either. Um, so there's two things then, okay, so what is bipolar? No one really knows, right? So I've always had this idea, like, it's it's not a thing, like, physically that you can put your hand on, it's emotional, and once you've kind of dealt with your emotional side, then you'll be normal. But evidently, uh, the amount of processing I've done emotionally and and healing and this method and that method which I'll talk to in subsequent talk about in subsequent videos um I'm still here and I'm still as wacky as ever I'm not crazy there's a fucking big difference excuse my French and um a friend of mine pulled me up yesterday saying it's a bit far to say you've cured bipolar but what I would say to that is I've cured the symptoms that deem me ill, yeah, not well in myself, to the degree that my life was completely disrupted and I couldn't have sustained those patterns or that how I was presenting energetically and in my behaviours. So I had my three major highs and after and before and in around that time until a few years ago I've had just lowness and I've covered it really well because I'm really motivated quite a lot of time. So people don't think it. They're like, oh, you're really confident. It's like, yeah, but when I stop, there's a big ball of doom, which you would call depression. Um, the black dog, whatever. Um, where am I going with this? So, yeah, to me, bipolar is when whatever we are as a type of person um gets heavily influenced by um by emotions and emotions being like a build up of trauma and energy from your whole life whereas feelings are kind of now you know like I feel sad or I feel happy but emotions are something that really sit deep within you um and again I'll go into like my understanding of that and why I've got to that understanding through Eastern philosophies and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so what is bipolar, in my opinion, I think it's actually being creative, simple. And so therefore, you're also sensitive, and you're very, you're, you're free, you're free with your feelings, perhaps, um, you're more expressionate. And this, this, when it develops into the more, um, profound behaviors like you have all these ideas it's like oh creation creation blah, blah, blah. and you don't have inhibitions that's and and when I think many people when they've come down or they've had their medication they really miss the high so in a way you almost don't want to get better because you feel like you're going to miss that well let me tell you I haven't been on medication and for a good few years I was keeping myself really low. I retrained to be an accountant, which was hilarious, but I really enjoyed it. Actually, I'm very thankful for that experience. And I worked as an accountant for two years, well, assistant accountant. And it grounded me. It really helped me ground. But I didn't have my creativity. So I knew there was, oh, this is just not me. And then I met someone and went, oh, my God, I remember this energy and I want to get it back. And so bit by bit over the last five years, I've been like working to go, well, what what was that energy? And that's a whole other video really. But so to me, like bipolar being an illness is a bit misleading because it's kind of 20%. Most people, maybe it's the creativity, but because we live in the world as it is at the moment, 80% of it is just trauma because it's fucking horrible you know, we're bombarded with fear and nah, and you're not good enough and nah, 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 all this. Nah, nah, nah. And until you unplug from that and go, actually, I don't need to get involved with all this fear stuff, whatever, um, you are inundated and your own amount of trauma. So why I'm doing these videos, sorry, sitting on the floor is not comfortable. Um, 
why I'm doing these videos is to kind of implore you as a person that might still be really suffering from the lows and the highs and this oh, to know that if you can work on what is the underlying traumas in your life and we've all got them you know um then you might uncover this real you that's fucking intelligent and creative and full of energy and vital and and passionate about life so then you won't be oh I'm struggling with bipolar I'll be like yeah mate I'm crazy I'm full of energy and there's no need for a label so now that I've discovered that I'm just a bit creative and I'm quite eccentric would be the word but it isn't it's just that I I do a lot of stuff and I like a lot of stuff and I'm really passionate and I show my emotions and now I'm not scared to yeah so anyway again that's going into more details so the first thing what to clear up why do I think I've cured myself of bipolar is because I'm not scared to be me and that ties in with the acceptance of just going who are we because we we everyone wants to tell you who you are I'm guilty I probably do it to other people so sorry everyone but um you know society oh because we're this gender we're that we do this oh well, you're from there oh I'm middle class so I must be like that I'm clever so I must be like that oh I'm blah, blah, blah. no it's not like that at all I had dreads right I had dreads for a lot of my 20s well all my, pretty much all my 20s loads of my life and um and I kept going back to them I love them but Oh, I loved the people. Oh, you must be vegetarian though. No, I like meat. I still struggle with it. I'd like to not eat meat all the time. I don't think we need to eat animals, but it's a whole other story as well. Um, but no, it's all right, actually. You know, no, and then I start questioning, like, oh, am I meant to do that? Because I'm this, can I be that? Well, none of us are labels. We're just who we are in the present. And maybe one day you feel like you need to eat meat. And you're like, I'm sorry, thanks chicken, thanks for that energy. I find it grounds me, so sometimes, yeah, I have, you know, I give in. Um, you know, but just accept that you just are, you're not definable. No one's definable. So I, I get riled with the labelling in mental health. And it is useful, because if you want to start a conversation, it's, oh yeah, I've I've had some history, I'm turned bipolar. All oh, right, cool, but you get it out of the way then. Okay, you've had some up there. But it isn't It isn't me and it isn't a thing, but I know I was ill from it and it's... But it wasn't, wasn't from that, right? It was from a build-up of just complete misunderstanding of life and how I integrate into this life because it's not that easy, actually. If you're sensitive and... You know, I don't want to just plug in and be a fucking bank worker and, you know, whatever. Sorry, whatever your job is, it's not the point. I don't want to just get a mortgage, get a job and then die. What? That's not fucking life. And you know that, really. Every All of us do in our hearts, but we kind of aren't told another way. So that's also what I want to kind of say about carving your own way. And it's OK to feel like you can't fit in. And that's a whole other discussion about spirituality and beliefs, concepts and all of that and conditioning. So, yeah, the two things, acceptance, accepting ourself, you know, for all the flaws. It's all right. No one really knows what they're doing. Humans, we're always learning. I still go, oh, yeah, I'm an adult. Really? And I think most people do. Right. But when you see people on the street, you go, oh, look at them coping. Hmm, most people aren't really if you scratch a little bit beneath the surface whether they've had a label or whether they acknowledge it even themselves they're not always like yeah I've got this life shit figured out no not really because there's no rules no one's made a rule people have tried religion and blah, 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 but there aren't any rules and we've got to accept that maybe our rule our way of living which you could take to be your set of rules or whatever um, one can change and that is okay too too um they're yours and no one no one can tell you not so a big help for me was realizing hang on a minute just because society accepts this framework of mental illness and how you are maybe going to cope with it um you can actually go no sorry I don't get no sorry and over the last few years that's that strength in myself and my own intuition which has been there before all this 
um, was like, no, there's another way. And I've always avoided medication and my family the same. So it was, I wasn't going to just go, oh, okay, I'll take medication and just stay within the box of normality. No, because that's like, I just was getting greyer and greyer as the months went past and bigger and bigger and didn't want to do anything, no passion. That's not a life. I'd rather fucking die and start again. I believe in reincarnation, by the way. But um, no, I, I wasn't accepting that. So don't accept what you're being told, I guess. But know that you can accept yourself and listen to your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, there's probably a good reason for it. Don't just quit your medication, for God's sake. But look into other ways and and accept that you you might have a different story and a different way to live your life and be happy than anybody else. And it's, it takes a lot of strength and courage. You know, I still wobble and go, oh, I'm like crazy again. Yeah, it's true. I do think that. I tell my friends, no, no, I'm fine. But I am fine, actually. It's it's just like everyone has a wobble once in a while. And if you think you don't, well, you've got a big stumble coming up, in my opinion. Or nice one, you're like up there with Dalai Lama or something. But, you know, we're all trying. We're all just trying at life because there's no rules. So, um, so yeah, be kind to yourself. Be gentle and accept like you might fail at something it, there is no failing it's just doing okay i've rambled for quite a while now so um yeah cool tune in again and uh, remember it one step by step you will get through that and uh, the world's changing the world's becoming more heart-centered thank god so when you feel like you're so sensitive how do i fit into this world i go, don't get life you're not alone because we shouldn't have to fit into this life because it's bullshit. Yeah, it's not involved with love. It's about money and well, sorry, governments, you're coming down. You're going to be changing and heart centered living is going to come through. And so people like us who are a bit on the edge, a bit creative, a bit wacky, will start feeling like we fit in more, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, have a nice day. Have a see what I'm doing, just on the creative note. I'm doing a bit of sewing. And um, just let you know, I'm making uh, moon pads because I'm really into sustainability because, like, everyone should. Hello, the earth is uh, struggling a little bit. We need to do our bit. So I use... This is just a bit of the material, but I they look a bit like that. That's one I've made before. So that's what I use for my periods. I also use a moon cup. But, um, yeah, I don't believe in filling landfills. Yes, I create rubbish because I'm not perfect. Can't do everything right. But um, one thing as a girl I can do, as a woman, I should say, huh, um, is not fill it up with my pads. You know, you have Terry Dowell and nappies, so why wouldn't you have similar things for our periods? Don't think it's a key. It's natural. It creates all of us. Anyway, that's another ramble again. So uh, anyway, I'm Caroline. Check me out on www.breakingoutofbipolar.com or Facebook, Kaz Capasta. Feel free to friend me, write me, whatever. Just let's let's get better and off the meds. Stop giving our uh, illness to uh, to the profits of companies that make money out of our being ill when we're not really ill we're just sensitive and traumatized from the world okay over now see ya bye namaste